Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. This package is a knife I bought off of Reddit Knife Swap. This is the Boost Blades Mini Smoke. So this is a little tiny front flipper that is super thin that I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate. Uh, made by Wii, OEM'd by Wii, and um, I really just was very interested in this knife for a while. And I saw one pop up for a decent price, like $220. And I just got it, just to check it out and review it. Um, so we'll see how quickly it it uh, moves on to somebody else. So we have the Avatar Shadow Ranger, of course. If you have not already, guys, check out our Facebook group, the Shadow Rangers. You don't need to answer any stupid questions to join. Um, it's just to have some fun. Um, that's it. Like, no whining about drops and shit. Just post your knives, talk shit, be an asshole, whatever you want to be. Just don't be an actual asshole, you know what I'm saying? Why am I... This knife is not cutting anymore, guys. I might need to retire... I can't do it. I can't retire the Shadow Ranger. Seriously. Huh? Did a little cutting right... God damn, lockstick, man. All right, we got paper towels. Woo woo. All right, that's it. Cool. Put this down, get rid of the box. Bang. God, I gotta stop saying bang. I, I was on uh, Jared Neves, Neves Knives live stream on Saturday, and now I can't stop saying bang. It's fucking weird. Anyway, boost blades. Bang. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. I love the collie on there. It's a border collie, by the way. Love me, border collie. Smartest dog there is. Your knife inside. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, we hope you enjoy your knife. <laughs> I like that a lot. There's some info on Boost Blades. I think they just did another run of these. Oh, my God. This thing is tiny. Okay. All right, Kev. I'm going to put everything back together. I do like that. I feel like there would have been a pouch or something that's missing, but whatever. Uh, this is my knife, so we'll go over here. All right. Wow, look how small this is, guys. This is the carbon fiber variant with purple. And uh, this would have matched pretty well with the uh, J-Cape I had, but I sold that one. Man, this is so small. Has an opening hole. And a top flipper. Obviously, it's a right-handed frame lock. And that thin. It's just... Ugh, I doubt it's going to work left-handed. Let me try it right-handed first. See if that even works. I already hate it. Fucking dropped it immediately. Detent sucks. Look at this fuck are you supposed to open this piece of shit okay sorry calming down now super thin ah, the blade stock's not really that thin though i mean look you know and then you have this super thin blade like short blade so it's not going to come down to a very thin edge i wouldn't think um does say cpm 20 cv on there um It has a hole, but I doubt it's going to work for me anyway, because of that frame lock. I knew this was going to be bad. I don't know why I did it. The detent, man. It doesn't feel that bad, though. So it's just like... Oh my lord. Yeah, I cannot even operate this thing. It weighs absolutely nothing, guys. Um, shit. Can I spidey fling? How is this knife popular? What the fuck? You can't even use it. Like, do you. Oh. Well, there's that. But, like, I got lucky.
I guess you gotta, and then you can't, you can't disengage it any higher than right here because then the top flipper hits you in the finger, right? And, okay, it works, but like, I guess this is for really small hands, guys. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, yeah, jeez, man, it's just such a weird, weird build in my opinion. God, okay. Yeah, I don't even think I would carry this. I mean, feels like plastic. I feel like I could literally just bend this thing in half. There's no blade play or anything. I mean, the action is actually good, you know. Um, I just don't get it at all. <laughs> I'm sure it'll disappear in pocket. I mean, it's probably a good little office knife for somebody, um, you know. But 220 bones? Um, if I can get that back out of it, I'm good, you know. Uh, what about the little reach-around trick? I could do the reach-around trick. What about, like, a, a slow index roll or something? I can't even, like, do it. I can't get enough of a grip to do anything with this thing. Man, this almost feels like a joke knife to me. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, okay, guys. That is the uh, Boost Blades Mini Smoke. Did not go well on the unboxing. It's probably not going to make it to a first impressions. You never know. I may not be able to sell it. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to try to sell it right now. So, uh, I'm guessing if you're seeing this in like a week when I post it, it's probably not going to be available, but we'll see. If it is, I'll list that in the description. If it's not, I won't. So, there you go. Uh, yeah, just not for me, guys. Not even worth my time, honestly. Um, and I'm not trying to hate on this knife. It seems well built. It's centered. Uh, it's got good steel. It does open if you kind of you know, whip it out there and do it right. And I think you just need to have tiny hands. That's, that's the only thing I could think of. Um, you need to have little tiny hands and then you can use this knife, which is cool. Uh, real quick, look at the blade there. You got that Kali on there, the boost blades logo. Uh, the pivot is really cool. I like the colors. I like, I like a lot about it in terms of aesthetics and stuff. That's why I got it. Um, but once again, we made product fall short for me. Uh, it does kind of, you know, if I hold it down here, hold it normal and just kind of, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, that is the boost blade smoke. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.